Hi, today we're going to be opening up Konami's English Edition, First Edition, Show and Jump, Yu-Gi-Oh! Training Card Star Pack, which is more of a booster pack than a star pack, 2014-2014, free cards per pack, uh, six plus years, or wait for ages, sits and up. Let's like say, uh, free cards in every pack. Entire set includes 50 common cards. All 50 cards are also available as star foil cards. You can log on to www.yugio-card.com. I will put that link down below in the description there. And it uh, pretty much says the same on the other side, just a bit of warden over here. So let's open it up and see what cards we got. So we got go 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 go. So we have go 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 or go 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 giant. And as you can tell, it is in this holograph is star foil. So it is, it's that star foil. Really cool. Look, earth attribute element, uh, level 4, watt effect. When this card is normally summoned, you can toy one go 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 monster in your graveyard. Special summon that toy in face up defense position. Then change this card to defense position. If this card attacks, it is changed to defense position at the end of the battle phase. Pretty cool. Then we have Do 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 Warrior. Earth Element, level attribute, level sets. Um, Warrior Fight. You can normally start this card without tribute, but its original attack becomes 1800. If this card attacks, negate all card effects that activate in the opponent's graveyard until the end phase, until the end of the damage step. Whoa, wow, we have this card. Super, super cool. It is a light attribute element, Odin, father of the Ares, Azures, Azur. Looks like it's a level 10. As we know, this is what uh, you say Fudo had to battle against. These Nordic gods from uh, Yu Gi Oh! 5D series. Cool, this is a Fairy Synchro Effect card. Let's see if we can zoom in. Was that a, there we go. War Nordic Ascend Tuner plus two or more non tuner monsters. Once per turn, you can make this card be unaffected by spell trap effects until the end phase. During the end phase, it's this face-up card you control was destroyed by your opponent's card either by battle or by card effects and sent to the graveyard. This turn, you can banish one nor ascend tuner from your graveyard. Suppose you summon this card from the graveyard. When summoned this way, you draw one card. So wow, that's really cool. I mean... But in the iPad we had Loki, Lord of the Azur. I guess that's how it's called Azur. And now we just draw Odin, Father of the Azur. Or Azur. Azur? How are that word said right there with the A E S I R? So pretty cool. All we need now is four. So then we can have four Loki and Odin. The three legendary Nordic gods. Synchro monsters. So uh, I guess from U 5D, these Nordic gods, Synchro monsters, will be ear to the three Egyptian god cards from the Yu-Gi-Oh! original series. And uh, the plasma monsters, I believe, from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. So give me a second. I'll show you what I mean. So yeah, we have the Wind Trainer Wah. 
Cypher the Sky Dragon, Ivalis the Tormentor, which was the original free guide cards from the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. And then we had these other ones. I don't know how good they're going to come out on camera. Harmon, Lord of Strike and Thunder, which was more the plasma one. So, we have that one. We have uh, Uro, Lord of Searing Flame. So, I guess these are the Lord cards. And we have uh, Ravio, Lord of Plasma. Which kind of turned over as the card effects. So I guess uh, if we had to do it and put it in a order, we could have more of the Wing Dragon Rob and then his from the original series, and then in, uh, like I said, Yu Yo G at Stu Academy, it would be uh, Haman, Lord of Strike and Thunder, which would be ear to, uh, you know. The Wind Raider Wa, and I believe it would be Odin, the father of the Azure, whatever this card is called. Odin would probably be ear to the Wind Raider Wa, kind of forward slash a little bit in the future series or the next series from your GS Duo Academy. Haman, Lord of Strike and Thunder, so. I guess you could go this way, this way, and then this way. That's how it would be set up. Just like with the other one, it would be uh, from the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series, Cypher the Sky Dragon. Then in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy, it would be uh, Ooh, Lord of Seer and Flame. And I believe Loki would fall into this category. If you had lined up, so you had God, Lord... And then, uh, mythological gods, um, Nordic gods. So, mythological, lord, mythological god lords or lord god cards, I guess you could call it. Because of just the way how they were up, so. Yeah, and then, uh. I believe in this category it would be I was a tormentor from you know the original God card original U series. Then uh Rever Lord of Plasma from the Yu Yu GX dual character series and then I don't have it yet. But so hopefully I will get four. So I guess it'll be if you had categories them down to East Dane, Original God cards, Yu Yu GX dual Academy Lord cards and I want to say something like Greek mythological Lord slash God cards would be these ones. As you know, there's three. There's four, which I don't have, unfortunately, yet. There's Loki, and then there's Odin. Just like how we had Avarice, Cypher, and Ra. Then their next forms that was replaced would have been Reveru, Uru, and Haman. So, yeah. Really, really cool. Uh, how we have them. It's up here in presentation. I just thought that I'd bring them out to uh, notice how they were trying to go for the Yu Gi Oh! 5D series compared to the Wizard Yu series and the Wid and then uh, Yu Gi Oh! GX Duel Academy series. And then how they brought it into kind of over into the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D series, so yeah. So yeah, these are the cards, like I said, that we got in here. Which is really, really cool. I love how I'm now getting my like I said, I want to say Greek mythological god legendary lord cards with those ones. But yeah, like I said, this has been the opening of Konami's 
Inuit's edition. Come on, focus there. Focus. Konami is Inuit's edition, first edition. Show and jump. Yu Gi Oh! Star Pad, which is more of a booster pad than a Star Pad. 2014, 2014, three cards per pad for uh, ages 6 and up for uh, ages 6 plus years. So, uh, yeah, really cool. So, yeah, remember to wait, subscribe, and leave a card. Alright, thanks, bye.